Now following on from last week's video, the track detail video, you can see on the inside of the cable trunking I put some PVA glue down um, and put some soil in the gap. Um, this is real soil straight out of the garden, it's been dried um, and then it's been sieved um, of a sieve which I've had stolen and hidden in the loft for some time now. <laughs> um, what you can see is it really uh, uh, changes the scenery so you're no longer looking at a plywood baseboard um, and it's just the next level up so you've got the plywood then it's had the paint of course and then the uh, the soil on top and uh, you wouldn't notice on a baseboard on the left hand side of the cable trunking it's a really nice effect and of course cheap and easy to do now coming forward to my uh, point motors a suggestion was made to me that I use a uh, cable shrink wrap um, to go underneath the rails and then a different coloured wire to go uh, through that and then out either end. Um, what this will do is add uh, not only contrast but then I suppose a bit more detail. In reality um, this is how it's done. The uh, cable that goes underneath the rails is protected by an outer sheath um, um, and it comes in varying amounts of colour formations. I've chosen orange cable um, and a black uh, shrink wrap tie um, for no other reason than the orange cable um, will be more prominent on the outsides and I want it to actually stand out um, as a detail at a glance so when you're looking at the station um, you wouldn't see that really if it was just a black cable entirely so I'm going to use the orange cable. This was pointed out to me by uh, Anthony of Strathmore Road Junction um, and he very kindly um, gave me a few bits to try so uh, thank you very much Anthony and uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the uh, corner now. Now as I've said before, because I've ballasted um, before doing these details, um, in one sense it is a bit of a disadvantage, but it's very easily got around. Um, I've actually got this uh, station uh, sign, um, but the actual pole of the station sign is actually really rigid. I think it's a bit of uh, solid wire. It's just so happens to be the same width as the cable um, so what I'm, I've been doing is literally pushing it through the, the track pushing the ballast out of the way from both sides creating a nice culvert um, if you can see that um, what that then allows me to do is to put the shrink wrap in uh, he says you can see that's just fitting in there Ooh, if I can do this on camera You can see it's just pushing in there. What I'll do is I'll do this with my hands and I'll pull it through. And as if by magic, that's now underneath. I did need both hands for that. Um, um, and then uh, the orange cable, if I get the uh, straight side in, should literally thread through the hole with ease. I mean, you can see already it's it's looking really, really good. Um, and of course it's only, I think this is half a mil cable, or wire I should say, um, which is made to look like cable. So if you tuck that in, bring this a bit round, you can see even before I've cut it down and glued it down, um, what a difference that's making to that scene. Let's refocus you, sorry I'm out of focus. Um, and you can see what a difference that makes, just for the sake of these two parts. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim these up and glue them down and then uh, we'll see how it looks. And there we are. As you can see that's all in situ. Uh, the glue is ever, ever so slightly shiny but um, I'm going to leave the actual wires themselves uh, shiny. Oh, in the way the 170. Um, because it would have been a new addition to uh, uh, older track, older ballast etc. So I might put a bit of dark wash over the um, uh, the glue but not the wires itself but otherwise I'm very happy with that um, I think it looks the uh, the business so in an effort to add more detail to my station um, one of the obvious ones is platform numbers now thankfully through the wonders of the internet I went on to um, Google and I was searching for the font that is used on uh, the actual Newcastle station 
um, and that was able to be downloaded. I found that on uh, RM Web, believe it or not. Um, it does have its uses. Um, and these are the uh, numbers. I literally have printed them off on some A4 paper and got them out, um, along with a uh, station sign, which you'll see in a moment. Um, but it's simply a case of this is just normal paper printed out um, in black in my case. And what I've got is some uh, acrylic strip, which I'm going to mount these to and then cut them out into uh, perfect little squares. The reason I put it on the, uh, the plastic strip is because I'll use solvent weld glue to stick them to my station columns. So the next stage from this, I mean, I, I glue them to the plastic card with some rocket card glue, um, which takes all of 10 seconds to stick. Um, and then they end up with something like this. And these are some I made earlier. Um, now, these are absolutely tiny. Um, you can see. <laughs> Uh, next to my little finger, <laughs> they are um, really, really small, and something I'm uh, <laughs> not doing again if I ruin these. <laughs> um, but as you can see, next to my station column, what I'll do is I'll just stick them down to uh, the end just here um, on the various uh, platforms on the real deal, um, and that should look quite good and just add an air of detail which uh, otherwise wouldn't be there. Now, placing the um, station numbers on the canopy is extremely painful. As you can see, they're extremely small. Um, I want to do this in situ. Uh, probably doing this on camera was probably not the best decision ever. But as you can see, it literally takes all of uh, 10 seconds to stick on. That's using the uh, uh, solvent weld. Um, I wouldn't fancy trying this with the... Uh, Sort of like a rocket card glue or one of the del deluxe glues, just because it takes that bit longer to uh, to stick to the plastic. Um, leave these to set overnight, and uh, all being well, um, they should be rock solid, and they can uh, come with the frame as I move it around for further improvements. But uh, as you can see, it does make quite a difference. Um, it is fiddly, but definitely well worth it. I'm now going to go and add the rest of my uh, station numbers to these columns hopefully not uh, uh, lose the will to live <laughs> but um, the joy of using solvent weld is it goes absolutely rock solid as I say so um, once they're dry they should be absolutely stuck well worth it so now you can see they're on at the front there on the first column um, there's two lots of numbers on each platform on both sides as you can see so the details are really starting to come on now um, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but uh, whew, I won't fancy doing that again. On to the next one. Now using the same method as the uh, platform numbers, I've tried to create myself a sort of station sign. Um, as the main platform sign as the, the uh, trains come into the station. Um, this was done in exactly the same way. Um, printed out the, uh, the name, New Junction Central, using some scrap plastic in the middle there. Um, I've mounted that paper to that with some uh, um, glue and then I've used this uh, U-trunking, just offcuts from the uh, canopy which I've sprayed with my acrylic spray. Um, this in particular is the Midnight Blue um, which is what the base of the columns were done in. So uh, as you can see this is what has been produced. Now I don't know if you've seen the uh, the actual how-to make a station platform mini series I did um, that was such a bore lake for me I don't want to risk sticking anything down to the platform and damaging it so um, my sign's actually been mounted to a bit of scrap um, platform top um, just to hold it up make it stand up it may look a bit odd and a bit um, placed but uh, I don't want to risk damaging the uh, surface of the platform so uh, simple fix but uh, looks the business so here's the new sign in situ. Now, it's been suggested that this sign is actually too big for double O gauge. Um, however, um, when you stood back looking at your model railway, I suppose, I want to be able to see the sign and not have everything to scale, so it is slightly enlarged. It's also had central added to the name, whereas in reality, the Newcastle Central only has the word Newcastle in its station names. Um, but of course, we're not giants looking at Newcastle Central, we're looking at uh, New Junction Central. And if I uh, stand you back up, 
it's actually quite a small small sign in relation to the platform um, we can just about see it from up here so that's the reasoning for it being a bit larger but I think it works well now of course I've uh, brought myself a Backman station signage set which comes with this uh, uh, platform board which has had exactly the same process it's got a, uh, um, a new stand to stick it down I've also customised it ever so slightly by uh, changing the uh, posters that are on it to the uh, Scale Model Scenery Network uh, YouTube map timetables and I suppose network map as you can see here um, it's a bit pricey for what it is I think it was uh, four or five pounds for that and you get a station sign as well um, it is I suppose it is a, a metal of some form the, the actual model but um, um, it is only one-sided um, as you can see the back of it is just plain um, so really it's a bit useless because if I'm uh, taking photos from or video from the other side um, of course you've got a blank a blank station sign so for the money it's a bit bit OTT so I wouldn't recommend those really I'd definitely say just make your own or um, there's got to be a, an alternate kit somewhere but um, no it looks good and it's good to get the uh, the uh, network YouTube map which I'm on on the uh, station at long last um, and there we go I've also brought myself these trackside signs they're literally just station signs in sticker form um, they are a touch over scale I think but uh, same like my uh, station sign they work really well because you can see them at a glance now using the same method as before a bit of plastic um, to stick them on um, then they form uh, nice uh, signposts for your uh, layout and of course using the solvent weld I can stick them to any of those plastic columns no problem at all easy peasy in keeping with the new uh, ethos of trying to build everything myself for my, this new half of the layout um, I treated myself to a scale model scenery uh, uh, platform uh, screen kit as it were um, so as you can see I've uh, cannibalized this kit and uh, built up the models which I feel relevant so I've got the two uh, end screens they're going to be for my DMU platforms either end um, and then of course you've got the big screen on the big tower um, I did make a bit of a hash of this especially gluing it together because it's touch fiddly so I've, I've painted it over to try and uh, cover over all the uh, the glue stains um, which I made on it and then uh, once that's fully dry I'll glue the big screens to it so it should look like a smaller version of this one here the uh, smaller gantries as you see here um, this is how they uh, finish in the kit I'm going to paint the uh, the columns uh, grey um, and I'm also going to add a platform number to the top for the relevant platform um, just to give it a bit more personalization but otherwise I think they're uh, they're quite good again relatively cheap and cheerful and a nice kit and it does doesn't have uh, just add something to a layout so we'll see what they look like when they're on the uh, platform now for the color of the uh, posts I'm literally dug out this uh, rail gray um, rail match paint the only reason being is I've got it so I might as well use it um, <coughs> Be honest it's probably not perfect but um it's better than nothing you don't want to waste money by buying a paint just for what is literally 10 seconds of use so as you can see these are now uh, uh, drying on their uh, stands um i've also added to the uh these uh screens as you can see i've added the platform numbers they're going on um just to add a touch more detail make them tad more unique um, it just occurred to me uh, the question is probably going to arise why I haven't used something like clear uh, plastic card or something for the stands um, it's literally because I don't have any um, and I've got uh, scraps of uh, cardboard lying around and uh, obviously the uh, station cover left over from when I uh, actually did the station in the first place so uh, I thought to myself why not utilize that um, it's cheap and I suppose free in effect um, so why spend money on it when you don't have to? So there we are, they're now in situ. Um, as you can see the little uh, station platform numbers are in and on. Um, I think I'm going to have to paint the uh, columns white uh, just so they stand out a bit more. The uh, sort of cardboardy grey um, does look a bit drab from a distance. So I'm just going to change them up. I'll also add some uh, barriers to the actual uh, uh, feet of them, the uh, little bases I've made 
just to add a bit more detail and it'd be a bit more stereotypical. So as you can see I've added the uh, station signs um, to the uh, columns as well. They're now fixed nicely. It just adds a, a, a different level of uh, detail. Um, as you can see they go the whole way across. Um, and I think it's a nice little touch. Um, if I uh, pan you back ever so slightly, you can see I've got uh, two rows of three. So you've got, oh, that's my finger. You've got three there, and then three across there. Um, and close up, it just adds a nice, a nice bit of detail. Again, with the uh, platform numbering, just adds a very subtle change and brings a bit of life to the layout. Um, obviously, with this uh, Grand Central HST, the trains bring a lot of. Uh, a life to a layout but um, you can do it with your own customised details as we've seen here um, and it really makes a uh, massive difference. So once again thank you for watching this video. I do apologise if it's come out a bit of a muddle. I have been filming this at uh, silly o'clock at night um, so uh, <laughs> some of my uh, uh, biggest fumbles uh, usually uh, occur when I film uh, too late in the evening or early in the morning I should say. But uh, hopefully this uh, video has highlighted some of the smaller details you can do to a platform just to make a massive difference. What I'm going to do is leave you with uh, a few running shots um, of the details close up just so you can truly uh, feel the effect of them. Um, and as ever, thank you for watching. So take care guys and I'll see you uh, in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.